working with layers in in design so as you can see we can have we have different pages and that's creating each time we create a shape text frame or image automatically we'll have layers so the layers we'll find under window and layers or f7 and the nice thing in InDesign is showing us just the layers in this specific page. If I move to two, three, show me just the path and text frames. Four, five. Now, if I'm creating another shape, then I want to. shape in different color I will see another rectangle that's locked you can lock from the layers panel in case you need a background image and you don't want it to move you can just lock it and travel magazine and rectangle so if I drag it behind the image will be or on top Now in InDesign we can also use blending modes, so we always need to make sure that in the layers panel the shape that we want to blend will be on top of the image and we can go to window and open the effects panel and in the effects panel just add it to the we'll just start with a simple effect which is the opacity so first we need to select the shape and lower the opacity or use the blending mode, multiply, overlay. So the blending mode that we had in Photoshop and Illustrator are also here in the effects. Always make sure that in the layers panel, you have the rectangle that you want to blend on top of the image. And that's a good way to create contrast. So I can place Travel Magazine. Make sure the rectangle is behind. Yeah, it can be also white and we'll, we'll still see it. Let's make sure you click on the text if you want to change the color. And that will be blending mode and layers. So you can always control the layers from the layers panel. When you select the layer, it will be also highlighted here in the layers panel.